Good evening, Plum here, playing Water Tanks, and here's another head-to-head -head video of sorts. This is the one I promised you uh, late last week, and we've got a special guest commentator. Hello, Oak. Hi, guys. So uh, we're going to try and do this together and see what we can do, whether we can make complete um, asses of ourselves or not. We'll, uh, we'll see. This is a very uh, quick game in the Cromwell B, sent in by Crimson Typhoon, and uh, he's on um, Siegfried Line and he's defending the base along with his buddy Manga Marshall. So uh, what are you hoping to see from this game, uh, Oak? Well, I think it's going to be a lot of action. I haven't seen the replay through, but I've seen how long it lasts and it looks like it's going to be pretty intense. He's doing it right now, isn't he? Look at him, he's absolutely going crazy. <laughs> he's off to a good start. And you notice there's a, a lot of Cromwells involved in this little action. Yeah, yeah, he's come out over here and he's managing to uh, get a lot of support from his friends on the ridge, I think. They've, uh, they've kept him pretty safe over there. He's lost only, he's been hit the once, I think. Taking some damage, but he's okay. He's still got most of his hit points in his Bromwell. Yeah, on the ridge. see what he finds next. He's got one kill racked up so far. Nice bit of damage, considering the game's just over a minute old. Yeah, and you only get 10 minutes on these uh, assault games. He's got a lot of enemy tanks above him in front of that ridge. He's got to uh, try and crest that ridge a little bit, keep them highlighted. He's probably not the only one highlighting them, to be honest, but uh, we know what kind of score he gets, and he's going to just keep on firing his gun, I think. Yeah, well, he's got a good tank in a good position here. He's got nice uh, gun depression on the Cromwell. He is doing all right. That AMX is being a little bit foolish. What's he doing coming between all these uh, enemy tanks? Oh, he's on a hero run. <laughs> he's thinking, oh, we're going to lose this. I'm just going to go for it. Uh, I think he's done for uh, now. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> We're up to 1151 damage already, and it's two minutes into the game. He's not hanging about. God, I love this tank. I always have a good feeling when I go into this game in this tank. I never think, oh, I better take out the Bromwell. It's always right. I want to have a good game. Take out the Bromwell. Yeah, I still haven't got this one. I've got the regular Cromwell. But uh, this, um, well, he's certainly doing well in it so far. Yeah, he is taking damage now. He's being penned on every shot almost. Oh, it's a lucky bounce off the T-34. They don't bounce many. Oh, he's got to be careful here. He can't overextend. There's still too many enemy tanks. Oh, he's got a death toaster trying to come over the ridge up there. It should be easy to hit if you can see it. They're big tanks. Not much chance of him bouncing off that. Is he a one-shot for that toaster? I don't think he is. No. He's nearly. No. no. The toaster's got the big gun. I think it's 240 damage it does. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, left oh. him on two hit points. He's got his buddy moving up behind him to give him some support. Good. The scores are pretty even. 7-6. Still going to go either way this match. Yeah, the attacking team isn't doing bad at all. I always think the advantage is with the defenders in this game mode. Yeah, yeah, I would have said so too. Oh, good kill. There goes a KV-1. You see the Four kills. other teams pushed into the town quite hard. He's got an Achilles. He doesn't appear to be using auto-lock very much either. He just seems to be... Uh, I think I noticed him hmm. using it once or twice when that um, Death Toaster came over the ridge. Yeah. Is, it's a good place to use it when you just darting forward over ridges just so your gun gets that bit of depression and you get the instant shot off but let's see he's yeah. going to get this Achilles surely that's nice <laughs> yeah, yeah I thought that was coming yeah I think he's counted up the tanks worked out it's now no doubt safe to go down that uh, center of the map without being and suddenly shot the scores anyway. have swung around it's 12-8 oh, that's good to come across low health tanks now this is where the Cromwell absolutely oh, rules T-67 chasing him He's lucky, he's got 75 oh, hit points left. That was lucky. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was... If he'd fired, he'd be dead now. Seven kills. Can he get the Radley oh, Waters? Oh, I think... Did his mate just take that bullet for him there? That thing's going to be on a reload still, surely. He's got his fingers crossed. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Eight kills. And this match is nearly five minutes old. And that's it. What oh, killed his God. mate? I didn't see. It was it was all going on for those last few seconds, taking out the SU and did he go and kill him for a bit of fun just at the end? No, he can't <laughs> it, have done. It flew over my head if it did, because <laughs> that was yeah, that was pretty quick. I mean, the next luckily the next one's a little bit slower. So this time we're watching My Little Pony. One of my viewers who sent this in. He's actually been on my channel 
at least once. He's had some good replays that he sent in before. So let's see what he can do in the Cromwell B on this one. What are we on? It's Airfield. I'm going to say it's not one of my favourite maps at the moment. I tend to go in phases of which maps I like. This one is, well, it doesn't rank up there. Yeah, I find it a very middly map, Airfield. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. It's certainly not in my list of uh, maps that I love, so we'll see what he can do on this yeah, uh, particular occasion. I've got to say, he's taken the Cromwell straight up to a position I would have chosen with it. This is a great spot to get to. Yeah, he fires, he's going to get spotted. I think he's going to risk long it. Can he, he's going to risk two. Uh, I'd risk two in oh, the Cromwell. Oh, good man. Yeah, I, I'd always risk two. I normally regret it, but I always risk it. <laughs> yeah, surprisingly, he's not moving off. He's going back for more. That's brave. Only got one artillery though, so... Yeah, if I was enemy artillery, I'd probably be looking at this spot right now. And there's quite often TDs camping just this side of their base, just in the buildings. Yeah. But they haven't been... Oh, well, there's a T-67 back there. Yeah, we've established a really strong front line now. It's just draw a line down the middle of the map, and there's our front line. Nice basic tactics. Although yeah. Maybe looking a bit weak over this side. Got a bit of support at the back, though. Good old slow KV-2. Slowly moving up. They're fantastic tanks. <laughs> but now I guess we're just waiting for the battle to develop. Look for some possible shots from here. Yeah, this is a good tactic in the Bromwell. I mean, it does not have much armour, so you cannot go YOLOing off at the start and expect to uh, survive. You've really got to plan where you're going to go, because your armour's not going to save you. Oh, is he going to go out? Not just yet. Play it safe. Yeah, we should reiterate, we don't watch these replays. We just uh, enjoy them for what they are, just a raw experience. Yeah, this uh, is all, all a surprise <laughs> to us. We just see the results screen. But frankly, when the game starts, I completely forget the results screen and I can barely remember who wins. Do you know, this game's sort of taking a, a pretty standard um, process that this battle always goes through. You get a bit of the, that fighting to the south. You see where all those medium yep. tanks are fighting over that ridge line around that old temple. And then all the heavies come up to this point here. And then it tends to bog down a little bit unless someone makes a move or someone makes a mistake. Yeah, I agree. Do you think that makes it a bad map? Because this is what nearly always happens. There doesn't seem to be a way around this situation. This is what you see nine times out of ten on airfield. This line down the middle of the map where no team wants to break it. Yeah, and people who know the map play really carefully and they know what to avoid and what to watch out for and, and the game tends to slow down. I don't think it makes it bad. It's just pretty predictable, I think. Yeah, right now you could say this game is going completely by the numbers. It is nothing unusual here at all. Very even as well, 3-4, so it can still go either way. Now here he goes, off to make a move. Where's he going to go? Is he going to push directly up the middle? I think this he's is decided brave. that there's nothing down here. Oh, there was. Yeah, and the VK's come up. German medium he's tank. Been spotted. He's definitely been spotted. I think he's just going to use the speed to get around the back here. Oh, he's lucky. How did he not get shot? I think a shot just came in and missed. Where's that A43 gone? I think he was expecting to see him up here and finish him off. <laughs> if I did that, <laughs> I'd get tracked and I'd get annihilated. <laughs> he is really, really lucky. We've got a couple of tanks down now. They've got significantly more vehicles than we do. They have, but the rest of his team and his platoon mates have done a great job clearing out the enemy in the middle there. Their enemies, their heavies have, uh, well, it looks like they've been vanquished. Yeah. Yeah, this middle ground seems to nearly be key most of the time. You can get this piece of ground, then you've got options to go north and then west, or go south and then west. But they're pushing their base. The Rudy's decided to push up. Yeah, here they come. But my little pony's in a great spot here. Yeah, that Rudy's out in the open. He's got nearly nowhere to go to once he starts getting shot. I'm surprised he got spotted there. It must have been that Cheeto coming through. Good kill. Get our first kill. It's taken a while, but we've got our first kill. Yeah. Don't worry, I think the action's going to heat up a bit from here on in. Yeah. These two games, they've both got nearly identical XP. So uh, you can expect to see a few more kills yet. I've just noticed the team's actually quite far behind. It's 7-10. Yeah, and there, the enemy team's number one platoon, the Spike Clan, 
you can imagine they're going to put up a hell of a fight. Oh, one of them just died. Oh, <laughs> one as down. I said that. Eight ten. <laughs> this is good. Low, low health tanks with no armor. That's what we like yeah, to with, see. Yeah, is just glorious. If you're a Cromwell driver in this situation, <laughs> you're licking your lips. <laughs> The thing I like most about the Cromwell is the speed of it. It's just great to get around the battlefield. And when you find yourself in the wrong spot or you need to get back to base or change flanks, that's when the speed comes in. And I love that about tanks. I hate being in the wrong place when I'm needed somewhere else and being something really slow that just can't get there. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. What well, I'd be thinking. Yeah. Oh, poor KB2. He did look like he was <laughs> on a bit of a loss there. He's in the middle of nowhere facing off against he had Panzer IV and that reload he no doubt had the dirt gun everyone does yeah well it's starting to look a little bit desperate now 10-12 yeah at least we've consolidated with one friendly tank it's in these dire situations where you do need friends around you to help just to yeah nullify anything you do see really really quickly it's really important to stick together okay he shouldn't have been detected. He's gone into that bush very nicely. Probably seen now. Yeah. Surprised he fired, actually. I mean, I, I, if it was me, I might have waited for the KV-2 to get a little bit closer to support me. Get that knockout blow. I think he was lucky they're not to take any damage. Yeah, that KV-2 on his team looks like a good player, but they're not in the same team. And, yeah, well, even if you're running XPM, the, the colour of someone's play, you just never know what to expect from them. I've seen red players play fantastic teamwork in the end of battles like this, and I've seen purple players do the stupidest things ever. So I, I guess he didn't know what the KV-2's intentions were going to be and whether he could rely on him. If he waited for him, he might have missed the shot altogether. Yeah, I guess if he's trusting XVM, he is hoping he's going to get some support. He's, he's got 52,000 games played, that KV-2 player. 52,000! <laughs> That's a lot of games. That guy, has he got a life? <laughs> okay. Found Two plenty of enemy targets. TDs. Yeah. Oh, this could be this could be golden on the 88. Yeah, he's got to just track him for safety. <laughs> this is the place to be, right behind him. I do feel a, back a little bit sorry for that guy. Yeah. I've been in that situation myself plenty of times. This is glorious. <laughs> oh, bounce. Oh, yeah, get a bounce. What is glorious is the fact that all the enemy players, being very confident, have all gone off by themselves to get as many kills and as much damage as possible. And you yep. see it just backfired on them a little bit. Yeah, You see that a lot well. in the game where, where teams get overconfident and they just, just go off and they don't think to support each other anymore. Yeah, there were no platoon mates left for them to... Uh, coordinate their attack they just uh, all did their own little thing and the better players and it looks will like this Jagdpanzer 4 is going to suffer the same fate here but he's, he's got his back to the rock so well I was going to say he's got a chance but he's just been tracked so he's not looking good we can take a hit we can take SU85. a hit <laughs> yes you 85 goes oh. steaming in <laughs> and dies that was pretty glorious <laughs> oh he's taking a hit Oh, that was unlucky. That was the only place he could have hit that tank that would have bounced off. Oh, he, got, he got ammo rack then and he repaired it in lightning yeah. speed. That guy's got quick fingers. It takes me about five seconds to repair an ammo rack. <laughs> he did it in less than half a second. Yeah, he's got good reactions. That's another TD. There isn't a medal for taking out several TDs by yourself, is there? Like there is for the artillery? It's just a personal medal, I guess. <laughs> the uh, self-satisfaction, knowing you've done it. Well, he's managed to turn this game around a lot. He's on five kills so far. Just the artillery left. There he is, that the was artillery. Close. Could have killed him. Let's go looking for artillery. Where's he going to be? Where's your money? Mine's going to be in H1. I was going to say oh. that. <laughs> it's just because of the angle that shell looked like it came in at. But yeah, I could have had it. Really caught us both out. Wow, this guy's having a good charge. And it's all game over. My, that, that was well played. Yeah, game over. It was well played. That was a good comeback from being quite well down. So, 
we've just watched two games in the Cromwell B. The first one was Crimson on Siegfried Line, having a really quick game. It was just a shade under five minutes, and then we just watched My Little Pony on Airfield. And um, the point of all this is to uh, find these two matches that got very similar XPs, hopefully in very similar tanks, although these are identical, and then uh, pick a winner just for the fun of it and see which one we uh, preferred watching. Hopefully, we're going to agree. <laughs> we, may, we, may, we might disagree, I don't know. But um, let's have a quick talk about Crimson's first game on uh, Siegfried line. Now, when you just look at the first splash screen here, the two victories side by side and all of their scores down, all the little pictograms of what they did, um, Crimson's looks really busy actually. Every tank he spotted, he damaged, I think, looking at it. Yeah, he got a lot of shots in on different targets there. Yeah, it's kind of taking that forward position, running that ridge line, really paid off for him and his team in the end. He was just, you know, carving, a, you know, a knife through the middle of that team in the end. He just kind of circled around them and did the circle of death almost on the entire team. Not just one tank, the entire team. He was, uh, yeah, I guess a little bit lucky as well. I mean, doing all that kind of stuff in a Cromwell B is always very risky because you don't have the armour to take any hits. You've just got the speed and the mobility and you've got to use a lot of map awareness and tank awareness to keep that thing safe. And uh, he managed to do that really, really well. Yeah, that was a really good game to watch. And I, I like those games that are really fast paced, fast action, and it's all over in just a few minutes. They make, uh, make good watching back. Yeah. And he did pick up a nice couple of medals. We'll just run through them really, really, really quick. You got the Radley Waters, obviously got eight kills, and obviously high caliber and top gun. My little pony also got high caliber and top gun, both picking up their ace tanker badges. Um, and then we just watched My Little Pony, and his match was quite different actually. It was much more tactical and slightly slower paced, but uh, in the end it had a pretty racy finish. So uh, he showed us a thing or two about taking out TDs. Yeah, seemed. and looking at the, the matchmaking, the tanks are both damaged. It's been fairly similar. There's a nice mix of tier five and sixes in there. Yep, he did a really cracking job actually for the entire match. He didn't have a quiet moment really. If he wasn't spotting, he was going somewhere to do something. He just seemed to be a man on a mission. He knew what he wanted to do and he did it. So. Yeah, kudos to My Little Pony. Let's go over to the team scores and uh, bring those up for you. You'll see on the uh, XP how close they were. There's only like 35 something points in it and uh, very similar damage and very similar kills. So you can see why we put those two together. Um, which one did I prefer watching? Did I find more entertaining? That's a tough one actually because they're quite different games. Often I find with these putting two matches against each other that if they're very similar styles of game, it's easy to pick them apart. But um, when they're quite different, it's harder to make a decision as to which. Yeah, one. yeah, they, they were definitely different games to watch. You've got all the action concentrated into four minutes on one hand, and all spread out over the other. And although My Little Pony did a, a little bit more damage and got a tiny bit more XP, I don't know it spread over a longer time, so it didn't feel like there was as much going on until the end yeah. of the game there. I feel pretty confident actually, I do, I do know which one I preferred watching, and uh, <laughs> I'm sorry Crimson, but it's going to be Oaks Guy, it's going to be My Little Pony I enjoyed more on the throat. Well, I'm going to actually sit on the fence, I can't pick one that I enjoyed more, I enjoyed both of them. They both used the speed of the tank, they both used the gun, they both circled enemies, um, they both got into good positions, I, I, I really like both of them, but just two totally different replays that come with more or less the same end result. Well, there you go, and that's why I put two replays, really similar XP together, hopefully kind of make that uh, tricky decision at the end. Why did I go for My Little Pony? I think it's because, probably because the match was longer, I think, ultimately. It just, you could see him thinking about everything that he was going to do and how he was going to do it. Whereas Crimson's game, it was more intense and more quick, and so almost, for me personally, slightly less satisfying watching it. I didn't seem to have any you know, control over what Crimson was doing where I was watching My Little Pony thinking, what's he going to do next? And I'm thinking, oh, he's going to do that next. I understand. I can see what he's thinking. So in that way, he kind of engaged me more as a viewer on that particular Yeah, replay. you could definitely see My Little Pony's plan in that. But I don't think Crimson had the time to think and react. He just had to go with his gut instincts of where he had to be, what he had to yeah. go and what he had to do. And it was, it was just bang, instant. And uh, I don't know, I really liked that. But I like both of them. They were great games. Yeah, I might have to push you for a. <laughs> I, ooh, I don't think I can. I don't think I can pick a, a winner out of those. If it was just for the for the sheer concentration of action, I think I might have to pick Crimson. That's probably a good thing. I pick your 
subsidiary plate, <laughs> and you pick my subsidiary plate. It's like the Eurovision Song Contest, where we just vote for each other. Yeah, we'll just do that all the time. If we do any more of these, I'll pick yours and you pick mine. Yeah, no one will ever know. predict it. No, just nice friendly guys. I mean, <laughs> friendly replay competition. Um, well, there we go. Um, I'll just roll over to detailed report because some of you guys are real statos that love to see all the numbers. And uh, Crimson managed to fire off 32 rounds in his intense match. And yet, My Little Pony fired off 37 rounds. And they both actually connected the same, 27. They managed to get direct hits. And uh, anything else pertinent kicking up there? Uh, My Little Pony got a little bit more assistance damage, but then he, he was taking up spotting positions early on. He was. I, I guess I thought that Crimson might get more spotting what he was doing on that ridge line, but there were so many tanks littered all around him that yeah, he wasn't really a spotting tank. He was just uh, the tank at the front. Yeah, I think he was doing most of the him. damage himself, which is great. Yeah, yeah, seemed to be. Yeah, great stuff. So uh, that's a draw. <laughs> yeah, one interesting I've just noticed there is the credit difference between the two. Yeah. They're both running premium accounts, but there's nearly a 20,000 credit difference. And I think the targets they hit were pretty much similar tier. Nice mix they of sixes and fives. Yeah, they seem to be. And you'd argue maybe you know, Crimson got eight kills. And that just goes to show you that killing tanks is not what earns you uh, credits. It's uh, something else. I don't know sure what it is, what black magic they're using. I think it must be the, the cause there's a little bit of extra raw damage on My Little Pony's replay and that assistance damage. That must add up to a bit as well. Yeah, yeah, that's probably the decider, the assistance damage. That counts for a lot, I think. And he's got nearly uh, four times as much as Crimson did. So, uh, yeah, well done to both players. They're cracking games in the Cromwell B. One of, I, it might even now be my favourite tank in my carriage, the Cromwell B. Oh, I just missed it when it was on sale recently. I was really considering it, but uh, I think I've spent a bit too much money on all sorts of things <laughs> recently. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, it's an investment. It's an investment, mate. Cromwell B. <laughs> it'll, it'll pay you back forever. It's just, yeah, what a wonderful tank. Next time, if they ever do put it on sale, I would uh, totally, after seeing those two replays, although don't ever trust <laughs> YouTube videos of uh, games of tanks, because uh, these games happen once in a while, not every single time, trust me. Speak for yourself. Uh, Every game of mine's like that. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I wish. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed uh, myself and Oak commentating those two replays. And uh, it's certainly nice to have a little bit of company on these. Um, if you really enjoyed that and like to see more, then let me know in comments, and uh, maybe it could be arranged. So um, I'll leave the final word to Oak. Yeah, that'd be great. I'd love to do some more of these at some point in the future. Um, so let us know if you like them folks and uh, we'll maybe get working on some more great stuff right keep your heads down drink plenty of water and i'll play tanks again real soon take care bye bye